evaluate the following integral as it is written. We have the integral from pi by 4 to pi by 2, and the inner integral is from cosine of x to sine of x dy dx. So the first thing that we want to do is evaluate the inner integral. So looking at this given double integral, we see we're integrating with respect to y. So the integral of cosine of x to sine of x dy this integrates to y, and we are ready to evaluate from cosine to sine. So this leaves us with sine of x minus cosine of x. So plugging this back in, we're now ready to evaluate the outer integral. And again, looking at our given double integral, this is now with respect to x. So we have the integral from pi by 4 to pi by 2 of sine of x minus cosine of x. We are ready to integrate. So this becomes minus cosine of x minus sine of x. And we're evaluating from pi by 4 to pi by 2. So plugging our values in here, we're going to have a minus cosine of pi by 2 minus sine of pi by 2. And then we are subtracting a minus cosine of pi by 4 minus sine of pi over 4. So we're ready to evaluate here. So we're going to have, we know, cosine of pi over 2 goes to 0. So we have 0 minus 1 minus a negative square root of 2 over 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2. I need a little more room. And this becomes, we have a negative 1 multiplied, or excuse me, negative 1 minus a minus 2 times the square root of 2 all divided by 2. And we've got some nice cancellation here. We see those 2's cancel each other right out. We also have a negative multiplied by a negative, so that becomes plus. So I have minus 1 plus the square root of 2 as our beautiful final answer.